Hello, my name is Bianca and I'm going to show you the modern take on the classic sculpted eye. I'm just going to begin by priming the lids first with an eye base that's really not too matte, not too dewy, just something that will clarify the skin tone and texture. I'm just going to work with a mid-tone brown that's flat in texture and just by starting on the outside of the eye, I'm just going to begin finding that bone and accentuating that shape. Now to keep the eyes open, we're going to use a smaller brush with the same tone. On the lower lash line, I'm just going to stipple a little bit of color through the lower lashes. Sticking to a warmer color palette will ensure that the eyes don't look tired. In order to start to create our contrast between light and dark, just going to begin by highlighting the eyelid of the eyes by using a color that's not only a bit brighter but also has a bit of shimmer. And by using a brush that's very full but dense, you'll have a lot of control over this type of texture. Moving to a brush that's a little bit more of a point, I'm going to use that same combination to highlight just on the inside corner underneath. This will create a lot of distance opening up the eyes with using minimal amount of product. For a very sculpted effect, it is nice to pay attention to underneath the brow bone. I'm just going to use a product that has a little bit of slip to it, just using a stiff brush that gives me a lot of control. You can easily build a highlight that's not too strong. Now we're at a great place to pay attention to other details. We're going to begin by curling lashes, nice firm squeeze, and just by curling lashes you really open up the eyes. After curling, it's important to just go ahead and apply one or two coats of mascara using the tip to really get at the inner corners and applying mascara on the bottom will also open up the eyes since we're highlighting and contour underneath as well. Focusing on highlighting, I'm using a cold pencil that has a little bit of a sparkle to it and that's a great way to open up eyes and will make the eye appear a bit more rounded. It's also important to pay attention to eyebrows as well. Just using a brow pencil just to fill in the gaps. Just adding a little bit of detail the more polished the look will be. It's always a great idea to use a little bit of a brow gel just to groom the hair and to keep it in place. As a final step, I'm just going to warm up the crease a bit more with a very soft brush. So just finishing up our contour over here. That completes our sculpted eye for today. So you can see it's easy. By just understanding the fundamentals of highlighting and contouring, you'll be able to create the perfect sculpted eye.